When it comes to words, and it comes to Google, using the two together is the only way that you're going to rank for your business for valuable keywords. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a couple of random websites, as well as the Blue Water Marketing website, to help you guys better understand how to use keywords for your SEO to rank on Google. When it comes to websites and it comes to keywords, it's very important to utilize them in a certain manner that's cohesive to Google, as well as the structure of a website. So if you're a local business, you're kind of a DIY website person who just figured out how to do it, this video is gonna help you drastically. For some of you experts, it might be a little bit novice, and I apologize, but hey, everyone could use a refresher course. So on the Blue Water Marketing website, you're gonna be able to see exactly what we are. Right off the bat, this is our H1 tag, which is the most important part of it. It's exactly what we do, and it's telling Google, e-commerce, B2C, digital marketing company. That's what we are. So we need that as what's called the H1 tag. Now, if you inspect using Chrome, you're gonna be able to see that H1 class, Elementor heading. That is exactly what that is supposed to be. So I just did a quick Google search. I clicked Plumber Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's go ahead and go down to number nine. I guarantee you, at first glance, this is going to be their H1. Their title is Make the Best Choice. Now, although for the consumer, they might want them to make the best choice and call the best plumbing service of Cincinnati, which is a phenomenal SEO keyword. But what's happening here is Google is now thinking that this tag is what's the most important. And it's really not. Make the best choice is a statement. It's a broad statement. Underneath, you're saying trusted local and licensed plumbers serving Cincinnati for over 30 years. Their title should be Plumber Cincinnati. It's technically the company name. That should technically be their H1, but it's not. It's make the best choice. And what is that telling Google? Nothing about what they do. So as we start scrolling down, you're gonna look at the inspect versus the actual website so that I can show you the clear difference between a certain tag, H2, 3, body copy, and what should be there instead. Again, in my opinion, I'm sorry, bestplumbercincinnati.com, although I appreciate the mindset and trying to use keywords all over your website, this right here potentially is why you're ranked number nine instead of one, two, or three. So as we go down, we can quickly identify plumbing services. Now, as you can see, it's an H4 tag. H4 tags are kind of the lower echelon of importance for your tags. This is a H2 tag. This is what you do, plumbing services. As we keep going down the screen, you can say drain clean is a span tag. This is a span tag. You can click on it and we see relative style full great toilets. Now, interestingly enough, and I do admit when I'm wrong, I just got down halfway to the page and I found their H1 tag. Now the H1 tag historically is the header one, meaning that is the most important tag of a page. It's telling Google the main category or product or service that this page is supposed to be. So now Google has to get halfway down the page to find Cincinnati Plumbing Company. As we can see here, their H3, more than 40,000 plumbing headaches eliminated. Not bad, I suppose. You're bringing your personality into it. You're telling them how many people you have helped with your plumbing services. Six reasons why we're the best choice. Now, think about writing your SEO keywords as a outline when you were in middle school or high school. You have your title, your subcategory, the information about that subcategory, and furthermore, subcategories. Google wants you to structure your pages in the same way. So to put an H4 where there just was an H4, you should be swapping them around. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. These various header tags 
are what tell Google the different information broken up on a website. If you guys are finding this video useful, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about SEO, Facebook ads, Google ads, and content marketing. Now, we just got down three quarters of the way to this page and found a huge red flag. There's another H1. So as you guys are doing your own SEO, your DIY SEO, you need to make sure that each page only has one H1. That one page is summarized with this one header tag, this one H1. It is the most important part. Google will actually penalize you if you have multiple H1s. So bestplumbingcincinnati.com, this should not be an H1. This should be an H2 or a three, providing expert plumbing that's nothing less than the best. So from here, we're gonna go to my website and we're gonna go to our social media marketing page. And this is a good way for you guys to be able to identify your own websites. If you're not great into code, just go into Google Chrome, right click, inspect, and then you're gonna get this weird little thing that pops up on the right where you can now see all of our code and you see our H1, Social Media Marketing Agency. H2, specializing in B2C lead generation and e-commerce sales. Featured in H2, what we do, we're a revenue driving social media marketing agency, H2. These are div class. So it's just telling you what we do and how we do it. And then we're gonna go down a little bit farther to this section. What is this? This is an H2, Facebook ads agency. How does it work? Go down, H2. So you're seeing that then we have another H2 followed by a subcategory H3. So you can quickly take this information that I'm giving you right now, compare it to this video, compare it to your website, right click, inspect, hover over the big words. Do they relate to your business or are they, we're the best? It doesn't work like that. You want Google to be able to identify the most important aspects of your website because that's also relative to the search. If someone is searching for the best plumber in Cincinnati and they come across, make the best choice, they meaning the Google bots, does that necessarily show Google's bots that this website deserves to be on the first or second position for the plumbing search? See how this all works together. It's very important to understand structure and keywords when it comes to your SEO. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're more invested in SEO, you can click the SCM Rush affiliate link in the description to sign up for seven days free. It's my affiliate. It helps pay for all of this. Super grateful for you if you do click on it. If not, use the Google Page Inspect tool. It's super beneficial. I hope you guys found some value in this. Leave a comment below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and check out the Blue Water Marketing blog, bluewatermarketing.com forward slash blog. And I hope to see you guys next week.